What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Life of Cletus. Today we have a bunch of boxes that are actually kind of mystery boxes. I do not know what's in this. This was sent actually to the post office. I actually started rambling through it because I didn't know what the hell it was, but then I saw a size of a pop box. So I don't know what this is. This was an extra order actually because I accidentally uh, wrecked my neck of turtles when I boxed them. I never posted a video of me uh, doing that. And this box here was a package I got from an Instagram and it's not a hot toy and it's not an SH figure watch or a Funko Pop. Let's go. Alright guys, like I mentioned, I got a bunch of packages where I have no idea where this one comes and this one, the gentleman, after I purchased something from him, said, listen, I sent a little something special for you because uh, as of right now, this pack, this it's only supposed to be this big and this box is this big, this fucking big and like I mentioned to this one and this one. Yeah, look how big this one is. Uh, this one's a GameStop order, at least I knew that. But this, I have no idea. So we're gonna start with the this side first. Um, again, I bought these because I kind of messed up on my unboxing video when I got a little too excited when my neck of turtles came. Uh, yeah. Uh, this video originally wasn't even gonna take place today, but because I have all my Toy Fair stuff going on, this is gonna get postponed for quite a while. Sorry, River. Uh, for you guys who sent me all this stuff. Now, inside this box, it is a GameStop box. And there's one thing I needed from here. I needed this Leonardo NECA. On this figure, I, they give you literally, look. On this figure, I broke Leonardo's sword. So I needed to get his actual sword for my collection and then I, I'll probably return this to the store because I don't want to bring an auto with only one sword. But you can actually glue it. I did glue it but then I was playing around with it again and I broke it and I wasn't patient enough. But I, I, I better order a new one. That would have made it a lot easier for me. So unless one of you guys want it, let me know. I don't know if I returned it yet, but just let me know. Now, I'm going to get into this one. This package was sent to the P.O. box. And it wasn't a box that I was actually expecting to show up. I thought it was from the uh, this other company. And this was from Stefan Burge all the way from California. I was in the car going ham on this thing. Like, what the hell's inside this box? And... After finally seeing that it was this size of a box that's inside here, you are a madman, Steppenberg, for mailing it for that kind of price. I don't know if you paid. Um, holy shit. He paid $19.95 to ship this. You are crazy. You are crazy. I could, you could ship this for like five dollars. Tops. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe you spent that much money. And it feels like it's in a protective. Now, let's let you guys see. What is that? No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Some of you guys really are interested in when I post like special like collection videos, especially my Star Wars Funko Pop collection video. When I mention there's only one Funko Pop from this wave that I was actually missing. Cause I only owned 
the Asia exclusive or the Asia re-released exclusive one technically of this Luke Skywalker Jedi number 11 part of the Starways Funko Pop line. This is a 2012 release. It's retired. I don't know the value of them. I didn't have one in the collection at all. Any set in a good protector. Man, Stefan, he mentioned he would send something, but I, you know, I didn't think he was actually going to do it. Look at this. OG Star Wars Funko Pops, baby. The collection. The only one. This is the only one. That's awesome, man. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. The one that I have is a Asia re-release. There's a thing on there, and the factory from is uh, different. That's cool. I appreciate that one, man. That's dope. Woo! Now that's some care. That's some care. You know, I meet a lot of Funko Pop collectors. You know, they don't want to give up anything. And I met some hot toy collectors who give up everything. The one gentleman sent me a, a entire one six scale figure. And then now this one. This is supposed to be an item here from a gentleman named Manuel Torres. He hit me up in the inbox, or slid right in on my Instagram and said, Hey, I was wondering if you're ready to purchase. As soon as I see that, I go, this guy's wanting to buy his Funko Pop collection. And it actually had nothing to do with that. It actually had to go with an item that I was in search of that had been watching on eBay. And I was going to purchase it after the last fight, but then I skipped out on it and then it sold. He hits me up with the message. And what do I tell him? Mm, I don't really know if I'm really into it that much, but I, I like it, but I'm not into it. He tells me he has like eight of these things. He bought them from the uh, the place that they sold them at the time, and he's just been stacking them away. I was like, whoo hoo All right, I'll take it for this price shipped deal. He said, deal. I said, hmm, well, let me tell him now. I'm like, listen, I've been searching for this item. He's on my in search of list. Here's my end sales for uh, eBay and that item was sitting there so it was uh, pretty interesting how he hit me up for an item that I was actually gonna pick up it actually goes to another uh, series that I've kind of been back and forth on back and forth on when it came to if I want to pick this version up or the SH figure arts version I also then showed him my uh, my pre-order for this series as well I can't help it it's easy to pre-order stuff on Big Bad Toy Store because it doesn't cost anything to cancel it. All right, so there is gonna be a package in here that I have no idea about, and we got a little letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I hope I return the favor and start a new black hole for you. Ah, shut it. <laughs> I'm only doing this series, though. I'm only doing this series. Ah. Oh my god, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, you are a monster! <sighs> you are a monster. How do you people sleep at night? All of you people. <sighs> yeah. Wizard of the Coast. <sighs> Pokemon cards. Oh, sealed pack. Oh, I hope I return the favor and start a new black hole for you. Man, that's not fair. Because this is a black hole for me. Oh, my lord. It's my first ever Wizard of the Coast Pokemon pack. Wow, why'd you do this? 
This is the base set to Wizard of the Coast Pokemon Pack. You got Mewtwo on the cover. <sighs> these packs and these Pokemon card packs, sealed product from Wizard of the Coast is off the charts. This gentleman, I'm gonna post his Instagram. I believe I have his Twitter in the description and in the comment section. He has a whole page based off of these Wizard of the Coast stuff. When I said I was selling or I had Pokemon cards and I was selling my packs or whatever, he's like, Wizard of Coast? I was like, nah, man. No way, X and Y only. He's like, gotta get into these. Holy flocking hell. You mother. Ah. Ah. Now this box is big. It's real big. Whoa. Oh <laughs> my god. I didn't realize the box is that big. What item? Now I get why the box is so big. Ah. And hold on. Ah. Here it is. Whoo. Man, you know who that is, guys? You know who that is? You know who that is? And you know who that is? This is actually a Pokemon Center release, exclusive to the Pokemon Center. I got this for basically what the other one sold for, but there was no like extra fee on it. So the Actually, the gentleman actually took less of it. Man. So this, I actually paid, I paid $70 shipped. Still on the Pokemon Center right now website. It's like over 100 bucks plus shipping, I think. <sighs> he has a few of these. And the reason why I'm in such a delay to talk is because I don't know if I want to open it now. Punky always says it's always with that box, baby. And this box looks awesome. This is the Pokemon Trainer Red Champion version. I have on pre order the Pokemon Green Nano Droids from Good Smile Company. Now, I don't think I have the one with the Pikachu, or if there is one with the Pikachu, because they'll probably make a Pokemon Yellow, that means which makes kind of sense perfectly because you got the red, they have the red, they have the green coming out. They don't have a blue, which who knows. And I don't know if they got the Pikachu one. I know they got the one with the Mewtwo and the Mew, but this is gonna be, uh, I wish they were unboxed. I wish there was no seal around this. I wish it wasn't sealed. Just, why, why is it to be sealed? <laughs> Damn you, man! <laughs> I wish you just slid it open and been like, hey, look, here it is. <sighs> Something about that seal, man. Let me know if you guys think I should open this. Manual, you a crazy man. Thank you. Well, let me get that. Where will we? All right. I don't know. Manual. I'm gonna have to get another one of these from you. You suck. Be awesome too. Look at that. Ah, Wizard of Coast. Ah, monster. Now this. I thought it was gonna be like another nano droid to go with it. I swear. I didn't expect it. I'm trying to figure out where I want to display that. <laughs> Stefan. You're the man. Thank you for completing the collection. People love adding them Star Wars pops to this massive thing. I guess I'll have to complete this collection for the rest of my life now because I originally thought, you know, maybe I don't want to buy all the Funko Pops for Star Wars. And then all of a sudden, I keep completing the damn set over and over again, so we're gonna add that. And I was able to get the Leonardo <sighs> Necker figure, which I now have a Fully functional one. 
see you guys here next time and let me know who's the best I don't know they're all pretty awesome they all have their own genres it's the best of the best of the best boom